Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is your host, Andre Salazar. Welcome to my blog. And today we're gonna to talk about this new manual lens I just got literally moments ago. I am using today, I'm actually, to film this, I'm using the Fujifilm X-H2 with that new manual lens I bought, the TT Artisan, the 25 millimeter, and it is at F2. Now, the issue with this at F2 is, I get out of focus really easily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, right now I'm just gonna move it down to F8. Okay, now it's at F8. So in theory now I have a little bit more play, I'll be a little bit more in focus so I can kind of move around just a tiny bit. So that is one issue, but I do like this for video. So that's kind of cool. I might use this more often. You know, again, that kit lens that this Fujifilm came with is it's okay it's kind of like an all-rounder right it's a zoom lens you get different focal points it's automatic there's a lot of nice things about it but for some reason these manual lenses while maybe not as sharp as the actual fuji lenses are really kind of fun and i'm really enjoying it and i started really realizing that when i was shooting on film and then i was using um those vintage lenses with the adapter, but now that I bought these two, I'm excited. So, previous video was the um, TT Artisan 25 millimeter. This, as the title suggests, as you see me as I'm opening this, is the Seven Artisans. I think they're like sister companies, something like that. Um, it comes with a little baggie, so that's kind of nice, a little baggie. And I don't know what this is, but this is something. I can't focus it because uh, I have to manually do it. So I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just to like, oh, I see. It's something to kind of, it's like a finger holders that you can kind of put it on the dial. Okay, um, this box seems kind of nicer than the other one. Let's see here, I'm gonna open it up. It's got nice little, these little sleevey things. I do, I do like packaging. I mean, I know at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of nice. I used to keep all these packages. Now I don't so much, but okay, here we go. Open this up, little thing, stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. I'm excited. Oh, this is small. I was worried that even though this is a 50 millimeter, that this would be kind of close to the size of my zoom lens but this is nice and small it is not much bigger than the other one in fact this is smaller than the vintage minolta let me go grab it just for one second so here is the minolta okay this is a 50 millimeter minolta this is a what is this 1.1 aperture size with the adapter this is the uh seven artisan 55 millimeter 1.4 uh aperture and they're about the same exact freaking size which is kind of crazy um they weigh the same so that's kind of interesting and look how cute this is one thing i'll notice this is whoa that's big looking that's big i'm excited to have something nice and big to get a sense of the bouquet on this. So I wanna test the bouquet out. Um, I do like the lens cap already. It's got a nice lens cap. You know, the the TT Artisan was, uh, get that screwy on. This is just a nice, normal, like, you know, cappy guy. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I, okay, ooh, I do like the, the, um, focus i like the focus movement here and i like that it has feet thank you the other one just has meters and that is a little tricky because i have to like process my brain a little bit this has feet which is just kind of easier for me to like think um the you can tell i don't know if you can tell actually really well but the i see the blades moving i think this is like a nine blade uh, aperture ring it's not clicked or stops so I'm gonna have to just eyeball it which I wonder how that's gonna work 
with my digital camera, how that kind of like processes it. Does it recognize any of that or not? I don't know. But uh, let's, why don't we stop talking about it? Let's go shoot and see what's up. Let's go do it. Come on. Hey, everybody. And we're back. Okay. Uh, can you tell that I'm no longer using the Fujifilm to film this, that this is an iPhone? Yeah, you probably should be able to tell. If you can't, then we got some problems. Um, I went out. I took some photos with this little bad boy, and let me tell you right now a couple things. One, I really do like this camera. I do like the Fujifilm X-H2. Do I think about the T5, the X-T5? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. It would be nice to have all those dials. Just, just I, I would like to have the shutter speed ISO dial just like right there, boom, 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 boom. That would be cool. Uh, would the 100V be cool to have? Yeah, dude, of course. It's small. This is bulk. This is starting to get kind of bulky, especially this grip, but it does feel good. And it's got a badass viewfinder, and that was really important to me. So I like this. Now, the real important thing for this video is how's this little vintage, how's this little lens, little manual lens? Similar to the TT Artisan. 25 millimeter the 7 artisan 55 millimeter f 1.4 is bad ash as they say um yeah man i'm super stoked about it i'm super feeling it it does have a nice bouquet i will show you some photos at the end here although it wasn't the best of days of shooting um it's nice I like the manual. <clears throat> Do I get every shot perfect? No. Is everything set up just great? No. But look at how smaller this is compared to some of my other lenses. I mean, it's not much small. It's about the same freaking size as the Minolta one, uh, the vintage stuff. It's nice and small, 55 millimeters, perfect for kind of portrait kind of deal. That's the, the point of this lens. I'm taking this with me to New Orleans for sure. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited about shooting on this. I really had fun with it. I like the manual. I like feeling like, you see how those rings are opening up? I just like the ability of, you see, there you go. You can see it there. Look at that. Whoa. I just like feeling more in tune, a part of. Do you guys know how to drive a car, a stick shift? Okay, if you don't know how to drive a stick shift, then go learn. I know that's kind of hard to do now that it's hard to find, but those of us dudes and gals who know how to drive a stick shift, part of the reason why we like the stick shift, it doesn't go faster, it's not better. Uh, it could be argued that it's easier to, to repair, but the real reason is because you are more engaged with the vehicle. You feel like you have more control over what it's doing, the functions. Same thing with the manual lens. I feel more engaged. I feel like I'm more an active participant. I'm not just like wick, 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 and hoping that the damn auto eyeball finder is working, right? That's the, that's the gig, gimmick. And did I mention, <coughs> excuse me, this was only like a hundred bucks, hundred damn dollars compared to what? Uh, the Sigma, the Sigma one is like 300, I think, or 400, 300, I think for the Sigma or the Viltrux is one of those is like 300 and 400. If you want to get the Fuji one, it's like 700. So look, dude, if you want a nice, cute little portrait lens, if you don't mind the manualness and you want to spend a hundred damn dollars for a small lens, I mean, this is like nice and compact. There you go. That's it. I ain't got to sit here and beg you. I ain't getting no money out of this. I'm not making off of this. I'm just telling you the way I feel. Okay, there you go. Now, if you do want to know what I do make money off of, voila. It's this documentary I'm working on. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Go to my Patreon account on the description. Check out some of the features, some of the little short film, little trailers I'm doing there, all the comics and everything. 
for one dollar you can see all that kind of stuff and that does help me that is important to me because i'm not an amazon affiliate i ain't got no links to for you to go buy this none of that stuff it's just about me trying to be creative there you go thank you very much have a good day thank you for watching and all that stuff peace out